This is Twit. You know, one of the drawbacks, one of the reasons people say, oh, I can't use an iPad is I can't do pr real programming on an iPad. But thanks to this website, Repelit, R-E-P-L dot I-T, you can. Repelit, and in a lot of different programs. So REPL is, uh, is uh, something that uh, some more modern programming languages uh, talk about. It's a loop. It's the read, evaluate, print loop, which means it's sitting there with a prompt. I think Python was the first language I saw that used this. Sitting there with a prompt, you type in a real uh, code and then hit return. It, it runs it, executes it, and prints the result. And then it waits for you to do more. But a REPL is a really insanely great way to program. This has gone steps beyond a REPL. I'll show you what it looks like. It really looks like an IDE. So I, um, in fact, if you've used Atom or a VS Code or any of the kind of um, very popular these days, um, uh, uh, you know, editors, you'll see this very, very familiar. You're getting all of the kind of edit features, which is completion, and uh, and coloring and so forth and and lint checking. I'm here in Haskell, and so notice this is the Haskell REPL, GHCI running right here. I can I can run, I can share, but here this is makes it even more interesting. Let's go back to my um, my REPLs here, and this is free by the way. You can pay for uh, more advanced features. They're kind of doing it on the GitHub model where. If you don't want your code to be private, you can use it for free for limited, you know, some limited use. If you want your code to be private, you pay for it. You can actually use, there's an, there's an HTML version. So let's say you have an iPad and you'd like to learn how to do a website. You can code here, this is HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript. Code here in an editor. Very Again, very much like a, a, a traditional code editor. You know, Atom or Sublime, or it uh, reminds me of VS Code. And down here's the web page that renders. So I could, uh, if I wanted to, in the body here, we could just even add a little HTML. Let's do H3. Oops. H3. Hi, Megan. Notice it did auto completion, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. And then I run it. And uh, there it is. Hi, Megan. So that's a, that is. This is a really nice site to know about for anybody who's using an iPad, wants to learn a programming language, wants an online environment, and you can even make public pages with this. So you can make this be a public website. Uh, I'll show you the languages, too. I'm really pleased with the number of languages uh, they have. It's, it's, it's very, very complete. So I can import a project if I'm already on GitHub. I have a Haskell REPL and an F-sharp REPL running. Uh, I even have my HTML, but let's look at all the other languages we can use. And there's some of them are fairly obscure, even like Forth, um, Python, of course. Hello, pop up, please. There we go. Python, Ruby, Node.js, Scheme, which is a great Lisp, C Sharp, Java, Closure, Haskell, Kotlin, uh, Lua. All my favorite programs. Yeah, languages. PHP. So this is. I'm I'm really blown away by this. Go, uh, C plus plus, C sharp, even basic C low, uh, uh, Swift, Python with Turtle. When you're done playing with the toy programming languages like the Swift Playground or Tinker, this is the next step. And I think high schools and a lot of places could be using this to to get people on a Chromebook, any environment where you don't have real access. You can be running this as a IDE plus a REPL. It's a great environment, and it works wonderfully on an iPad. You could even use this on an iPhone, and of course, anywhere where you have a, a browser, because it works in the browser. Free for the basic model, and then if you want to pay for it, REPL it has a lot of additional features. R-E-P-L dot I-T. Uh, this is, right now, in my opinion, this is the best uh, coding environment for the iPad out there. It's really, really fantastic.